horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course, that is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. Red. I originally started working with horses um, as a job within the last five, six months, but I've had horses for quite a long time. I started riding at about the age of five. Originally I had a birthday party as a child with ponies and I fell in love from there. Um, and then on from there I leased my own pony about three days a week and then from there I had lessons and then from there I got my own pony um, sort of in a span of two, three years. I've chosen to work in the, in the industry I guess because I'm very passionate about what I do and I just enjoy working with the horses and seeing them, you know, being quite young and coming into the into the racing stable and then, you know, going on to win races and travel into state and do really well. It's just it sort of all comes together. When you when you go to the races and you see them gallop, it just sort of all the work and all the hours that you put in, it all just comes together and you spend so much time with horses in general, whether they're your own or whether they're work horses. To see that all come together, it's just really rewarding. Given up social life, um, sleep, um, a lot of things that most normal people my age would be doing. Yeah, it's just, you sacrifice a lot. You just, you sacrifice having a normal life and being able to just do things spare in the moment. You know, like I can go out and go out with my friends or I can go to that party or I can even, like if you go out to dinner and you want to stay out late, you can't because you've got to get up early the next day and yeah, you, you sacrifice a lot of normality as I like to call it. The biggest challenge I think is when you come to a roadblock with a horse, not just a, at work but even here with my own, when you have a challenge, um, say for example like there's something on the side of the arena that the horse doesn't like and you've got to work the horse to overcome their fear of, of that. And it can take up to weeks. And sometimes it can go backwards in your training. So I think that's probably the biggest thing I've faced. Even with horses at work, yeah, being race horses, they're a lot more flightier than the ones I have at home. Uh, if they generally don't like something, if you don't teach it to them the right way the first time, they pick up on that sort of bad habit and it's really hard to get them out. So yeah, trying to teach them to overcome something they fear, I guess giving them that confidence is probably the biggest challenge but once once they get over it it's great to hopefully be able to keep doing what I'm doing um, I don't really have a plan but just I don't know obviously be better at what I'm doing hopefully get another horse down the track much to Ed's despite um, yeah just I don't know do more interstate royals, I guess. Go to Grand Nationals again, that would be good. It's the top of what we do. It's sort of like the Olympic scale to what we do. Um, it kind of doesn't get any higher than that. Um, yeah, just keep doing what I'm doing. That's about it. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. And no one can talk to a horse, of course. That is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. Red. Go right to the source and ask the horse He'll give you the answer that you'll endorse He's always on a steady course Talk to Mr. Red